Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Tinker77 and today we're going to do a quick video on how to get started with Tectopia, okay? And the first thing you're going to want to do, now I'm in creative mode, but in survival mode, you want to find a place where you can have your village. I like a nice open plain or something like that. So first of all, go ahead and find something like that in your world, okay? The next thing you want to do is you want to create your town hall. It should be a building kind of central to where you want your village and you have an item frame on top of that. And that's very important because when you put the town hall token on that item frame, that becomes the exact center of your village. And your village then area that it works with is 400 by 400 blocks, okay, in all directions. So I built another building over here. I'll talk about this in a second. But right now we're going to look at this right here. Now we want to make this a town hall. So the first thing you got to do is you got to make some iron tools, okay? So I'm going to get some sticks here. I'm in survival mode so I can show you this, okay? What you need to do is you need to make an axe, you need to have a pick. You need to have a hoe, not a shovel. That's one of the first things I did wrong. And then you need a sword, okay? Now, when you have those, surround them around a diamond, okay? And you will get a town hall token. That's really easy. Now, with the town hall, tall hall, bleh, can't speak today. With the town hall token, you put it in here. And it, once it turns purple, like with that shiny purple, like it's enchanted, it means it's recognized as a town hall. Okay, and that's really, really cool. Okay, grab the token off of there. And what you want to do is you want to go over to here, put it down an anvil somewhere, and then go in here and rename it. We're going to call this, we're going to call this uh, How to Tectopia. And that's kind of like the name of your village. You can call it whatever you want, obviously. Let's go put it back here. Okay, so that's the name of this village. And that's how you can kind of tell if somebody's village it's on your server you look up and you can see what it says there and they'll name it however they want okay and that's really cool now inside of here what happens with this is that once that's recognized is you get two people you get the architect and you get the tradesman the architect is useful for getting other types of structures taverns and schools and sheep pens and it's getting really bad so let's clear the weather there okay and then you have the tradesman and the tradesman will give you people's uh professions so butchers and lumberjacks and farmers and that sort of thing, okay? But also in here is a chest. We're going to look at this chest right now. And what it has in here is a storage token and a home token, okay? We're going to use the storage token right now. Let me grab that. And we're going to go over to the other building. This is the other building over here. Now, I haven't done anything inside of here yet. I'm going to explain what we're going to do here, though. This is the storage building that I'm going to make. You need your second building. You have your town hall. Now you have your storage. This is where all the villagers will take the things that they produce, food and wool and lumber and everything, and they'll bring it into here. So we're going to hit that right there, and it should start to glow. That means it is a storage area. Now, one thing you should want to do now is you want to put some chests in there. So let me get some chests here. And that should do for now. And let's also get another crafting table because they have to sometimes craft the tools they need, okay? Now, it's best right now, as far as I know, to have all the chests separated, okay? At least by one, don't do double chests like that. That would cause a problem with the system. It, it just screws them up. So if you can, just keep it all as separate spots, okay? And they'll use these chests to store things. Does that make sense? Okay, so now let's start working with some villagers. The next thing that has to happen is you have to wait for the dawn to approach. And what will happen is you will see, especially on the first day, you will see people start to visit your village. They are nomads and there is a merchant with them. Now, every day at daylight, this will kick off. It's once per day. And supposedly every day a merchant will show up. Now, there have been times when I've not seen the merchant, but it's supposed to be every day and a merchant will be there. Now, at the beginning of your gameplay, when you really don't have any, any villagers and things, you will always get nomads, and as you progress and your village grows, you will not get nomads. So I'm going to wait here for a few minutes until the nomads show up, then I'll explain what happens. So here are the nomads, and they're approaching the village that we've been creating. Now you can right-click on these guys. They have sometimes have default professions. This guy is a chef at level 15. Uh, they have different ones. But right now, we just have to get going, right? You want to get a farmer, and you want to get a lumberjack. You want to get them producing. There's a blacksmith. And this guy right here is a guard. And this last guy here is a cleric. Okay, it's not really anything special that we need to have right now. But you can see they kind of wait right here, right? So what you want to do here is you want to get a farmer. Let's do that first, and let's go find one of these guys. You take the token that you have in there, and you right-click on the guy, and he becomes a farmer. And he's like 
waiting to do something, okay? So what you can do, though, is you can start to, like, get a farm going for him, okay? You start some stuff like that, and you put down some crops, and he'll look at that, and he'll start to work on it. Now, he's going over there to go and do something. His Some of his rules, and these are the rules for every guy. If you right-click on the guy, let me run over here real quick. You can switch to this tab here, and it shows you what they're doing. So probably he's going to gather sugarcane. I would imagine that's what he's doing. I bet you some sugarcane over here. And it looks like there is, and that's probably what he's doing right now. Okay? So we want him to work with uh, some of this, these potatoes and plant this. Okay? So what you do is you go ahead, and you can put that into the storage area. Okay? And they will know to pick that up and take it. I'm also going to give him a hoe. Okay? So now we're going to do something else because we're waiting on him, but he doesn't have a place to sleep. So that's why we created this. This is another house right here. What we're going to do is we're going to set up some beds really quick for these guys. There's a bed and there's a bed. And you can see they're the same color they were. They are white. Now, the other thing I want to do is I also want to give them some chairs. And that's a recipe that's special to Tectopia. Okay, so what you do is for the chair, you can look that up or you can follow the recipe here. It's very simple. It's just some sticks and some wood. So let's get some more sticks. Like that. Now let's get some wood in here. There we go. And we have two chairs, and that's pretty easy to do. And you can put chairs in the town hall if you want. You can also put them any place for decoration. It's kind of nice. I'm going to put one here. I'm going to put one here. And there we go. This building is almost ready, but we have to make it a house, okay? And that's where this other house two token comes in, home two, okay? And what will go on here, we'll put this on top here. And you wait, and there's recognized. And the beds will turn color. A yellow bed means that it is detected by the village, but it's unoccupied. A green bed means it's been detected by the village and one of your villagers occupying it, which means our farmer it will be sleeping in the bed, okay? So now let's get a lumberjack. This is the last bit. Let's see here the lumberjack. Here we go. And none of them are really a lumberjack, so we'll just pick one. And there they go. They're a lumberjack. And the bed should turn green when it scans that, okay? It's going to say, hey, there's a new guy. We're going to work on it. And the village will do that in just a second. Now they're going to go out and do some work here and start harvesting trees, just like that. Isn't that pretty cool? So they're doing the work for us. You can see that it's turned green. And that's it. That's really all you need to know about Tectopia getting started. What you can do then is you, when the merchant comes in, you can sell some of the products that they've developed here and stored in the storage system, and you can sell them for emeralds. And then you go in here, and you can go talk to these guys and find new professions, find new buildings and that sort of thing, and grow your village however you want. And it's just fantastic, okay? I hope this was helpful in getting started on Tectopia. Um, it was a couple things that I learned in there uh, when I did this, so hopefully you learned too. If you like this video, please click that like button. If you have any comments, put them down in the comment section. And if you'd like to be notified of the videos that I produce, please subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon so you get all the notifications. Thanks, guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye.